Hello guys, we'll learn how to install your SSMS which is SQL Server Management Studio in this video. This Management Studio we need to download individually after installation of your SQL Server. In case you have you have installed only SQL Server, then install Management Studio separately. It will guide you how to download and how to install your SQL Server in this video. Now, let's go. So, now we'll see how to install your SQL Server Management Studio. You can download from Microsoft. Uh, we are on the same page where we can download which is SSMS is free you can download with the version 18.5.1 which is the latest gender availability version of your SSMS which was released on June 9th of 2020 so this month they have released you can click on this to download you can see a setup file is getting downloaded click on save file to download to your download option or somewhere else once we got downloaded you can see a file downloaded here on this file click on this file with right click and you can see a run as administrator option click to install as administrator So restart is required in order to complete this setup. Click on restart. So we can continue with installing your management studio 18.5.1. Click on install. So once we restart, uh, and start installation so the setup is completed for your SQL Server Management Studio all the comp components have been successfully installed you can close and open your Management Studio from your search of your windows we can see microsoft SQL server management studio click on this app you want to run as run as administrator click on run as administrator as well as getting loaded you want to log in with the service type database engine or analysis service or reporting services so the default will go with database engine the server type the server name you want to log in with authentication type the default will go with the windows authentication or you want to go with the server sql server authentication you can log in with sql server choose the one the database engine where we have desktop number either Windows or SQL Server Authentication 
want to log in with uh, the SQL Server Authentication, the default login username. You can see the list of databases, system databases, the default master model msdb and tempdb under database list we have security option the different login ids you can change the password as well as here for the SAR user you want to change the password right click and change the password under properties we can see here is the password to confirm and enter the password You can see the status as well as the server roles. Want to change any other server role? We can add it here or we can remove. The SQL Server agent, we can find out the list of jobs if been added or want to create any other jobs. You can add it jobs here. And we have option error logs under error logs any jobs got failed we can verify you can click on current to find out any jobs got failed under management we have a maintenance plans you want to create any maintenance plan for any database backup job or any other database jobs you can add it over here so these are all the options under database engine you can manage your database engine using SQL Server Management Studio you can have a new query option same as Oracle told we can write your queries from here you can write your select statement the DML statements over here we can save it and we can run those statements we can execute the statement so we can find the version we can get the database version using select at the rate at the rate version we can run this query to get your version Click on execute. Now we can see the result here. It shows SQL Server 2019. We're done with your installation process, guys, and. Uh, you can implement in your laptop in case you have any doubts or issues you can comment us so that we can help you out you can reach us even on our email okay guys thank you thank you all